Howdy, Ricky Charles Dodson, and this is being in the church house story. Uh, I was raised in this Pentecostal church, and a very small Pentecostal church in Fort Worth. There wasn't more than about 20, 25 people at any given time. And we went to church a lot, four times a week. And Pentecostal churches, for those of you who don't know, are, are, are different. They're very loud, they're very spontaneous, there's a lot of a hollering and running up and down the aisles. There's a lot of speaking in tongues, and it's it's really for most people they think it's just real chaotic. Well, the, the the preacher, his son was my best friend, and we was about the same age. From the time I was about four years old, him and me were just like two fingers in the same gloves. And we put from well, we together we were laundry as four little monkeys. And our job, we always saw as disrupting prayer meeting as much as we could. And we had many, many ways of doing it. In the back of the church, the church was long, had little pews on each side, very small, little long church. The preacher would stand up front, and all. then all the, the, the church people, the women basically, the church women and the elders would set up on the stage sort of, and in the back of the room was the bathrooms, the boys' and the girls' bathroom. And they were just little bitty rooms that was built right into the into the church. And, of course, when, I'm talking now when uh, Bill and I, my best friend, the preacher's son, was about, he was about, was about nine and ten. We discovered that, and I don't remember who discovered first, but it, just flipping the light switch in the bathroom made a lot of noise throughout the whole church. So for weeks, probably, every time we'd go in and go to the bathroom, which was a lot, I mean, it was very boring sitting on the back row of the church while the preacher talked, and we'd been raised in this church and heard it all a hundred times. So we'd get up and go in, and we'd flip the light switch on and off five or six times, you know, and then I'd come out, and then he would go in, flip the light switch five or six times. Well, then one day, I came out, and he told me, he said, Rick, I could hear you go when he was in there. And this just lit up like a light bulb in my mind. Wow. So I started trying to pee as loud as I could. And it didn't take me very long to, to learn that if I stood kind of back and, and peed right in the middle of the toilet, that it would be real loud. And everybody in the whole church could hear it. So as soon as I told Bill what I was doing, because he was aware that something was going on, he started doing it. Well, Bill and I had to constantly up one other. It was just, it was, no one could, could, it was a competition always. So, I don't remember who it was, but one of us discovered that if you crawled up on top of the sink, the sink, little sink glued to the wall, stuck to the wall kind of, you crawl up on top of the sink and pee from up there down to the toilet that it was louder. And it, I mean, it was really loud. So we'd get it, you know, about four times during prayer meeting. We'd go in, we'd flip the switch about six or eight times, and then run the water. You could hear that all over the whole church, the water, the plumbing would make noise, you know. Run the water a bunch, and then crawl up on top of the sink and, and pee down into the middle of the toilet for as long as we could. So this went on for, oh, several weeks. <laughs> No, I, I know that I thought of this one. I'm very proud of this to this day. I discovered this little trash can, it's about like this, that if you wedged it up underneath the sink in the bathroom, you could get about a gallon of water. So we'd go in the bathroom, flip the light switch 30, 40 times, turn on the water and turn it off a whole bunch of times so that the pipes make all this noise, you know. And then crawl up on top of the sink, piece <laughs> as long as I could, and then when I'd start to run out, I'd start running this trash can that had water in it, and I would really, you know, I, I wouldn't waste any time, any any of it. I'd make it last as long as I could, dribbling it down, so it sounded like that I was in there peeing for like, you know, two or three straight, <laughs> straight minutes. And I'd come out, and everybody in the church, you know, they'd, not, they'd want to not turn back and look at you, but they couldn't keep from it, which is, of course, what we prayed on. It was being disruptive, you know, causing as much disruption for the church as we could. And uh, 
so that's my story of being in the church house and um, it, it was the tamest of the things that we did and but it's one of the only ones that I'm comfortable putting out to the world right now <laughs> and God I'm sorry please let me into heaven I didn't mean it I was young and foolish